generation. But they also act as great filler in between houses and buildings and shops. Now the first step to building Dell was to map out the floor and the foundations. I used the white wall you'll remember as road, or rather loose placings for where the road would be. And then I filled in where the road was actually going to go with the stone brick you see here. And now this impressive collection of blocks was going to be the rich district and some part of the trade district. Once that was in place and complete, I came around to the edges around the river, because the river is a key feature of Dale. We didn't do really much with it, perhaps not enough, but I wanted to make sure that the riverbank was well developed and looked nice and neat and tidy, and not too kind of rough and grassy. Now we built this plateau just over the river, bridged over the river itself with some more road and a raised platform that was going to hold up the trade district. Decorating the pillars with this ornate sandstone and stone brick effect that I was pretty happy with. It's a theme that we repeated throughout the whole of Dale, the sandstone and the brick. And while it's the first time I've tried it, I was very happy with how it came out. Now one thing we didn't quite get round to finishing yet was the underground tunnels of Dale. Now I'm not sure if there are any in the, in the town itself, I certainly don't remember any from the book or the movies. But it's a cool idea, especially if we come back and make this into a PvP map, that there are a network of underground tunnels and sewers, much like there were in the kingdom. Now again, putting down more foundations for the town of Dale, this teardrop shape that would become the amphitheatre, and of course toying around with lighting options with these lamps you see me putting around. Now, with most of the foundations done, it was time to come on to the first building of Dale, and that would be a sandstone and stone brick rendition of the town hall. Now, I used quartz blocks here as well as pillars, and I think they worked out pretty well, giving them a red nether brick rooftop, and then working on the building of the town hall itself. Now, I was really happy with the design for the town hall, this large reaching square tower that evolved into a circular drum tower, And the almost Mediterranean Greek kind of rooftops and pillar sections we have here at the top of the town hall. And when you look at the old pre-Smaug Dale in the movies, you very much do get that kind of Moroccan Mediterranean feel when you look at the buildings. And that was definitely a look and theme I wanted to try and preserve. And for the most part, I was pretty happy with how the town hall had turned out. So with the town hall in place, I came around to the rivers, added some decoration across the edge, and put down another entrance to the underground tunnels here, next to the town hall. Adding decoration trees, another underground tunnel entrance, stairs, pathways, and gardens, and more border to the river itself. And then it was time to come over to the main gate leading towards Erebor itself. Now I spent quite a bit of time on this gate, and I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. It's a really kind of ornate and decorated gate, and I really like the effect of the, of the wooden kind of fences and wooden blocks as the main door. It's not a part that gets a lot of attention, the main gate of Dale, but I think it really does look pretty cool. Now it was time to come over to the amphitheatre here in the centre of town, and again, I was really happy with how this turned out. It took me ages though to put down all of those concentric wooden blocks as stairs, which kind of represent seats on the amphitheatre. And it wasn't exactly a conventional build. It took me a long time and there, were a lot of kind of, there, was, there was a lot of improvisation and, uh, and out of the box thinking that had to go into this building. But again, I was very, very happy with how the amphitheatre turned out. For me, it was the perfect mix of decoration and functionality.
key thing to remember when building a town this size on this scale is that while you want the place to be unique and uh, and you always want to be testing yourself as far as buildings go, you don't want to go overboard when building common or garden shops and houses. You can't have these things be too elaborate because let's be honest, if it's a simple house, it's got to look like a simple house. And I think the trade district was the perfect mix of complicated ideas, ambitious structure, but effective architecture. Now I took a break from the town itself to come around the edge, throw down some wooden blocks and create this kind of makeshift forest area that gives us a bit of decoration around the edge of Dale. And it's something I wanted to do around the other side of Dale and what I will do is come around to the other side and the front and the lake and add those trees and forest areas to make the area just feel a lot more natural and not like it's plunked down into a creative flat grass world. Now again, using the copy tool to throw down some of the houses that I'd already built in another region of Dale, I came around to the guard towers area. I came around to this area in front of Dale, next to the lake, and plonked down this tall reaching guard tower. Because one of the things I thought the town lacked was elevation. I mean, like it goes up and down for the rich and poor districts and the trade district, but there are very few houses that really reach the heavens and scratch the sky. So I put down these two guard towers, which most definitely did that. Then in front of this residential area here, added some decoration and uh, and some natural parks and recreation areas. And there we go, we're about two thirds to maybe a half done with Dale. And that seemed like a perfect time for me to take a break from Dale and come around to the mountain itself and carve in the entrance to the fortress on the front of the mountain. Now I had a lot of fun decorating this. When you build really massive structures like this and you make the walls very thick, it gives you a lot, a lot of room to carve into that and add as much detail as you like. And as you can see here, I went as far as three layers inside to add some really ornate detail to this massive entrance to Erebor. Now again, scale wise, I would have liked to make this entrance about three times bigger because that would be more accurate to how Dale actually is in the movies. But the truth is, the, the block limit for building up into the sky is just too small in Minecraft and the view distance is not long enough for us to really get the full effect of how big Lonely Mountain is and how big Erebor truly is. And one of the biggest problems with building in Minecraft is the compromise of scale versus size. And what I mean by that is, you can build a large building but it's got to feel like your character is the right size compared to the building. But the building can't be too big so that you can't see half of it when you stand back because of the view distance. Now the rich district of the town of Dale was a lot of fun to do again. This gave me a lot more freedom to build impressive and out of the box kind of buildings. So I got a bit more creative with the roofs and the shapes of the buildings. There was a lot more room for gardens here because these are the rich mansions. And I had a lot of fun as well designing this kind of contemporary rich garden, rich, re rich residential recreational area in the rich district. And I had a lot of fun designing the cool kind of ornaments and things of the gardens and the houses themselves over at the rich district. Now coming around to the remaining rich houses of the rich district. I'm not too sure about these uh, these castle turret bits on one of the mansions here, but ultimately I think they looked okay. And again, adding grass, hedges, and trees to the gardens really helps kind of bring out the density in an area and make it look a lot more decorated and kind of lived in. And natural as well. One of the key things and important things about building in Minecraft is Things have to look natural. If they look too man-made, they often look a bit kind of crappy. I had a lot of fun with these roofs as well on this rich mansion over here. And finishing off the rich district was one of the one of the one of the most rewarding milestones for me when building the town of Dale. And once the rich district was finished, we were very, very close to actually finally finishing the whole of Dale. One thing though that we lacked around the middle of the town was again height. The guard towers around the edge reach really high. 
but if you'll remember from the movies, there's a lot of guard towers around the middle of Dale, and we didn't have any at all. So I designed this one here, using sandstone, and stone brick steps, and stone brick, and repeated what we built here, with the copy and paste tool, to give us a bit more height around the middle of Dale. And now it was time to come on to what would probably be one of the figure pieces of Dale. This large, reaching, tall temple, right next to the trade district, in between that and the rich district, and next to the amphitheater. Now again, what I'd like to do is set out the framework of a building, the outside, the, uh, the basic structure and design, using colorful wool. What that does is it gives you a way to kind of see clearly how something is going to be built, and to use the different colors to separate materials and structural ideas. And with the temple, what I wanted was basically just a building that re reached tall, but then tra traversed from a small kind of square structure into a larger kind of drum with towers on top. Now as a temple, ornament and decoration were quite key. And I had a lot of fun reusing the misty kind of ice and glass effect to make uh, frosted glass windows that you might remember from the Tangled build that I did a few episodes ago. Now the wooden struts that were going to hold up the drum section of the tower were way too big to start with and I went over this in the video. And what I did was just rebuild those and edit them in to phase between the large and the small. Copy and paste came in very useful here to replicate all of the design structures from one side to the other. Adding the entrance itself with steps and slabs, a red peaked roof, and then these four square towers on the very top of the temple itself. Now I'm not really sure what it's a temple two or four, but it's a pretty cool looking building all the same. And I'm happy that it sticks with the theme of Dale and gives it a lot more character. One of the things I somewhat almost regret is not giving the town enough height. But much like the movie, the town itself is a pretty kind of short thing. There's houses and things and guard towers, but it doesn't reach very tall. It's not like a mega city from Judge Dredd. Now again, copy and pasting around more houses to populate the city with even more residential zones. Because most of Dale is pretty much houses. And then using trees as filler in between the gaps. Now what works really well is when you put in trees in a town, is to add oak leaves as hedges and bone mill on the grass to populate the grass with flowers and long grass. Now I wanted the market area down underneath the rich district to be quite open and sparse so that the people of Dale can decide exactly what goes down there. Then finishing off all the roads with wooden fences and stone brick steps, Dale is pretty much complete. And there you go, ah, oh, Dale in all of its glory, the guard towers, amphitheater, the town hall, rich district, poor district, every other district. Oh, I'm really happy with how Dale turned out. When you look back at the kingdom and you compare Dale to that, the difference is like as, as bold and as and contrasting as, as night and day. And I really can't wait to get inside the mountain itself and start building the actual Erebor. So until the next episode of Let's Build, we'll be going into the new year. I'll see you next time. Take care.